So this is a refurbished job that I did on a McGregor 22 or Venture 22. Little Craigslist boat was wrapped in a tarp, had a box with all the hardware in it. And the guy's like, yep, everything's in there. And uh, everything wasn't in there, but I made do. Was that little box up front was carrying everything. He had had it all prepped for doing a paint job on it, but never got around to it. So I went ahead and bought paint and did a lot of cleaning and restoration. And kind of shows you what I get done and how I did it. Everything from just using a little bit of mold and mildew remover, painting the inside with an enamel paint, painting the outside with a top coat marine paint, and even texturing uh, all the accents to make sure that I had good grip on all the edges. Everything brightened up a ton just by using a little bit of elbow grease. Using that mildew remover, it's so much better. It smells better, it's less dank in there, it's just everything's better, and especially with it being all open, there's no latches or hatches, everything's all able to take a breeze through there. It was so much better. I'm looking at this like a straight nightmare. I have no idea how anything goes. There's no directions. There is no, hey, this bracket goes there. But a lot of YouTubes yeah, and pausing down, so and looking online at pictures and videos. I figured out where everything went, but oh my God. <laughs> Ready for a little bit of sanding and painting. A little dirty. I'm gonna bleach the inside today. But that gel coat's in decent shape. Say day three of deep cleaning and just flaking off any loose paint, scrubbing it with a wire brush, coming back later and sanding it. That'll take you to the bathroom. The brand new porta potty that's got to go in there. Right here. Got to fiberglass that hole. I don't know what that is. It looks just like crappy workmanship. Craftsmanship. What do they call that? Craftsmanship. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the hell. They just painted everything just like that. And then even the texture of this, if you can see, it's rippled. Like a little kid built it. And then she's got a soft spot underneath. that with the grinder removed that trim now I gotta hit that wall with a little bit of bleach and a lifesaver love this shit turn this nasty 
boat and do a nice white boat. Still have no clue where the boards go. <laughs> There's all these boards for this boat and I have no clue how to lay them out. Uh, I don't even know where they go. Windy. Porta potty. Put a put it. Maya's gonna love it. Little baby girl. Getting it all clean. Gonna start sanding and paint the interior. Had a little fashion stop with my dog after I found this at a thrift store. She didn't like it at first, but she got used to it real quick. She looks super cute. Getting in and out of the boat. <laughs> All the dust off my shoes. What's up, puppy dog? Kila, where's your stick? Yeah, it's a good thing that I got it nice and clean before I decided to take a grinder to that soft spot and dig out all that like loose, soft area. Put some fresh fiberglass in, but yeah, it looked like a bunch of peeling crap. And the deeper I went, the deeper it went. And damn, that turned into a much bigger job than I thought it was going to be. But ground a lot down and put a bunch of uh, fiberglass in. And it's much stronger now. Terrible camera work. I'm more playing with this thing than I am doing this. Stuff. But yeah, it went pretty far. This is the bottom corner, so it's up about an inch from that. I'm gonna put my mask back on and get to grinding. First coat.
You can really see the difference. Like that browning of just dirty water after dirty water. And then you see over here that, that new white. Gotta love the willow. Willow taking little pollen poops all over my paint. That's no good. But touch up the spots that I couldn't get. The first coat. And go from there. Center needs to be done. Been here all day. Look at that sun. That's cool. Them back together. Installed LED strips. And I just need to build something here. Got that window back in. Testing my lights. using a 
small dry cell to test it out. Here's the controller. And I got it. goes with the beat. Color strobe. Let's just do white. Blue on blue. Got my handy dandy keel keel winch. Cool binds. I really hope that's not seized up. We will see. Can't wait now I'll replace this as soon as I can, but for now, it serves a purpose. But pretty cool. Just on the places I want people to walk. Yeah, that's much better. some lights so I can keep working. Got her all set up. Me and my brother took her out for a maiden voyage. It was a beautiful light wind day. We were able to learn about everything and try everything for the first time. I set up the roller fur furling on the front. It was a smaller jib, but at least it was controllable. Had some random lady come and say, hey, I took a picture of your boat. Do you want it? I'm like, yes. So that was that beautiful picture back there. Ended up camping out the first night, just enjoying life on the river. 
My buddy came and picked me up in the morning, woke up, drank a little coffee that he brought me, and went fishing for the day. Just left her anchored on the St. Croix River, just outside of Hudson, Wisconsin. Caught myself a little fish. And then enjoyed a nice little sail. Came back another day and did this sail. So I got two sails by the end of the season on it and it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. 